Fora TV. The world is thinking. I have never seen an issue that has inflamed the passions of the American people the way the issue of immigration reform has, ever, including Iraq. I've never seen anything like it. I've never heard such rhetoric. We have never received death threats before like, like I received. It is unbelievable uh, how, how this has inflamed the passions of the American people, and there's a fear amongst some people, particularly the further you, away you get from the border, of the, quote, invasion that, that they are experiencing. I am convinced and I am believe with all my heart we need a comprehensive approach to immigration reform. That means securing our borders, but it also means a temporary worker program that works and we've got to address the issue of the 12 million people who are here already illegally. My friends, the reason why I take a minute on this, this is the graphic example of the lack of trust and confidence that Americans have in their government. It's caused by the failure of Katrina. It's caused by our failures in Iraq. It's caused by the corruption in Washington that we see members of Congress going to jail. They don't believe us anymore. So when people like me and the president and others said, we'll secure the borders, then we'll move on with the temporary worker program, then we'll address the issue of trust, they didn't believe us. They did not believe us. In 1986, we passed a law. We said we'd secure the borders, and we gave amnesty to three million people. We gave the amnesty, and we didn't secure the borders. So we have to restore trust and confidence on the part of the American people. And I'm saying that we have to secure the borders and we, then we have to move forward with these other parts. That was the lesson I learned from this debate. They did not believe us. So the border has to be secured. My friends, three of the people that want to go to Fort Dix, New Jersey and kill American soldiers crossed our southern border illegally. It is a national security issue. Chertoff will tell you that three million, two or three million of these people who are here illegally uh, came across, are, are, are guilty of serious crimes. So um, I feel badly for the agriculture community. I really do. It's going to happen in Yuma, Arizona when they try to pick lettuce this winter. Uh, uh, which is 70% of the nation's lettuce supply. I'm hearing from people in the agriculture business like you all the time. But I also understand that we were rejected. They said they wanted us enforcing existing law. Existing law. We're going to start enforcing existing law. And that means that somebody cannot give a bogus social security number and get away with it. And I hope that it will motivate all of us to re-examine uh, this uh, situation so that we can again address it in a dispassionate and hopefully manner which is best uh, for America. Uh, and that way, and I'd like to mention, I think I saw in the newspaper already this summer 154 people have died in the desert of Arizona. Uh, a couple of years ago, one was a three-year-old child, another one was an 18-year-old girl with a rosary around her neck. There's a side of this issue that's a humanitarian side. How many people today do you think are being picked up by some person who takes the person and they fixes his roof all day, and at the end of the day, the fellow who picked him up at wherever it was on the street corner says, I'm not paying you, I'm not paying you, if you don't like it, turn me in. Uh, a couple of summers ago, uh, there was a policeman in Phoenix, uh, the temperature was 112, he opened the door of a horse trailer, there was seven, 27 people jammed inside. Uh, this, this is a human rights issue as well, it's one side of it we forget. And the other thing I'd just like to remind you, I don't know if there's any Native Americans in this audience, but if they're not, we all came here for the same reason, our parents and grandparents and forebears did, and that's because we wanted to live in a better life. I still have in my office a sign that was printed in 1870-something that says, Irish need not apply. Irish need not apply. Some of us know that when the wave of Irish came, we resented them. When the Italians came and the Jews and the Poles came, there was always this backlash. We called it the Know Nothing Party at one time in our history. So I will continue to try to convince the American people that we're serious about securing our borders, which is a national security issue, but I also will continue to support a comprehensive approach to the issue.